For grocers, business has barely slowed through the holiday period and their jobs only been made harder by demand for rapid antigen tests. Hello, Anthony, I changed. No, I'm sorry, we don't have any tests in today. 98% are very understanding, but when people ring up and we say, sorry, we haven't got them, at least say thank you. You know, it's a couple of people just hang up on you. I suppose, look, customers are probably frustrated as well because they've made hundreds of calls around trying to find out where they are. Retailers are just as frustrated, with some being told by suppliers that orders worth thousands of dollars are being diverted to the Commonwealth. They're waiting for clarification from the government to find out, you know, what, what percentage of their tests they're going to have left, if any, um, and then they will communicate with, with us, um, the people who've ordered, and, and let us know. For those in the capital lucky enough to find a kit and unlucky enough to test positive, the ACT now has an online form to report results. This information will help us to get a better picture of the spread of the COVID-19 outbreak with the current Omicron wave that we have so that we can plan for the future. Those who've recorded positive results since last Saturday when it was declared rapid results no longer need confirmation through PCR testing are also urged to fill out the online form. But unlike New South Wales, there's no threat of a fine for those who don't. The Canberra community over the pandemic has been incredibly good in complying with health directions and health advice. And so at this stage, we're not planning on putting in place any offences or new offences. Supplies of rapid antigen tests from the Commonwealth and New South Wales are expected to arrive in the ACT in the coming days, with the Territory Government considering distributing them at existing testing sites for those who need them. The ACT is also considering approaching suppliers directly, with costs to be split with the Commonwealth 50-50. Harry Frost, ABC News, Canberra.